Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Trace Clinic. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Ting, 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 ting. Guys, the next one that I'm going to be doing is a dangle, which is basically a flat dangle like this. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's my Velcro dangle. I use it a lot for flatfish, sand sharks, lesses, stuff like that. Okay, so what we require for, for that is a bit of Dacron. Look, you can use old braid, your old leader line. It doesn't really make a, a difference, but I'm going to be using Dacron for this one. You can either use a float, a round one like this, which is our 12 mil uh, bead um, float. It will float up the, the bait a little bit, so it'll actually sit like that. So it just pops it up. Or you can just use a normal glow-in-the-dark bead, whether it be red, green, pink, it doesn't make a difference. For this one, I'm just gonna use our bead. Grab one out there quickly. Don't forget the float, it does work very nicely. Okay, step one, take the Dacron, and all we're gonna do is make an overhand granny knot. There we go. And we do that for a second time. We then take the lighter, so basically there's a knot, a double granny knot. I'm gonna take a lighter now and just burn this little bit down. It stops it from fraying. Quickly just melt it a bit. There she goes. We're then going to take the Dacron through the actual uh, eye. I'm going to put my glasses on to show you. If it doesn't go through, what we do is we just take a piece of nylon. I'm just going to use a Dacron here while I've got it. You can use a piece of wire if you want. It works just as well. But just double your Dacron, double your nylon. Go through the bead. Open the Dacron, the wire, the nylon, whatever you're using up. Straight through the center. Straight through the center there, and you just pull it through. There we go. Just makes life easier. It won't come off because of that knot. So there's your little stopper. We then take Velcro, but the hard side of the one that's actually got those little clips on it. This is already um, glued, so if I peel it off, you can see it's glued on one side. You can get it from waste center, places like that. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close it up. I'm gonna get the size that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna make one that's quite big, maybe that size. Cut it, turn it over, just so I get the exact same size on the other side. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I basically cut the Dacron, ah, the Velcro in two. Take it, open it up. Let go. Take my Dacron, slide it through the, the center part of it. Like that. So that's basically all I've done. Even if you don't have this, um, Velcro that's got the sticky stuff on the back, the glue on the back. You can use Gemchem glue, it's all, they're all the same. Take the second part of it and just lay it over the top. Like that. So there we go. So there's that done. Now I'm just going to make it a little bit neater, prettier by doing that. That. Cutting off the edges. So there we go. Perfectly simple dangle. Quick and easy. Nice for cutlet baits. Like I say, it's nice for lesses, um, skates where it actually sits on the bottom. It exposes a lot of the flesh. And I'm gonna show you just now how to actually bait this up. So there's the one with a little bit of float in it. There's one without float on it. Um, this one's gonna lie on the ground. That one's just gonna pop up. It's up to you how you wanna do it. Quick and easy Velcro dangles, guys. Very easy. Guys, I'm gonna show you the easiest dingle that you can make. Everybody says dingles are very difficult to make. I will show you the quickest, easiest dingle that you can make on the beach 
with nylon, with braid, with any piece of material that you can actually find. And it is so simple. All you require is obviously one of the solid rings. You can use a split ring if you want, but solid rings always work the best. These are Kingfisher welded rings. I'm going to use a big one just to show you. Okay, take old piece of your leader line, your, yeah, your braided leader line. Make it to whatever length you want it to be. Say I want to throw a head. And all I do is make a granny knot, make another little granny knot, move the figure of eight to where the length or the size that you want it to be, that's good enough. Wet, pull, and cut. There we go. So all I've got is a piece of either nylon, dacron, braid, that you've made a loop out of. Then all you do is you take your solid ring, insert it through the center, take your thing over it, that's how easy it is to actually do your quick and easy dangle, guys. It's as simple as that. There's your dangle, done. If you want to attach it to your hook, all you're going to do is take your solid ring with your dangle on, open your braid, slide it over the dangle, pull tight, and there it is, guys. It's as simple as that. There's your dangle, ready to go. All you're going to do is put your bait on it and you can throw. How easy is that one to do? Quickest, easiest dangle you'll ever make. And I'll show you how to bait it up. Okay, just a quick recap on all of the dangles. I'm going to go through the quickest one. That is the quickest one that you can make. All it is is basically old Dacron, old needle line. You double it over, go through and over the hook. It's as quick and easy as that. So that is the quickest, easiest one. We've got the most difficult one, which is this one here, which is the swimming uh, dangle. I'll show you how to do that one with the chocker bait. It works extremely well with chocker baits. It's got a little lip on it over there, and it actually makes the bait do this in the water. So every time you pull it, it goes down and then floats up. Goes down, floats up. Looks like a little squid going down to get its prey, coming back up. Very, very complicated to make, but actually one of the best ones that we have. Long distance casting one, floats up very high in the water column, ideal for catching hammers. Another version of it is just with straight nylon, grey shark, stuff like that. There's just a nylon version of the same uh, dangle. This is the Dacron dangle, it's a very soft dangle. So if you've got those very shy grey sharks, um, hammerheads, stuff like that, that are very, very shy, this is the kind of dangle that you want to put out there. It's soft, it's supple, they can mouth it and they won't get spooked. Okay. This is the one that we use for cob at night time. It's got a rattle in it, makes a hell of a noise. High density foam. Chocker bait works extremely well. This is our wire dangle with a little clip on it here that stops the fish from pulling it off. Sand shark, stuff like that. Just mouth the bait, but don't take the whole bait into their mouths, pull it off. So that one there works very well, quick and easy to make as well. We've got our standard dangle that we do. Wire dangle, easy to bait up, available at all leading retail stores, the Kingfisher version. Um, and again, we've got the soft dangle in the same version that we do. Um, again, it's more for flat fish that are feeding very shy. There it is there. We've got our nylon dangle. Uh, also very soft, um, doesn't fray, works extremely well. And just another version of it without the solid ring on it. Okay, quick one, a lot cheaper, doesn't have the solid ring. But we're just going to bait up one of them to show you how we do it. Okay, that's it. There's our dangles ready to go. Obviously the Kingfisher version, there's the longer wire one for the whole mackerel, and there's the flotation one for floating your baits up higher. Okay, let's get on to the best part, which is the baiting part. I'm just gonna be showing you how to rig our 
long dangle that we sell here at Kingfisher. Okay, so pretty much that's what it looks like. We've got a mackerel over there and our dangle. I've got a circle hook, a sinker, a knife, our thick, thick Kingfisher chalk, um, cotton, latex cotton that is, and our dangle puller. Okay, so what we need to do to bait this one up is to measure our length, first of all, of our bait. And that needs to be about there. So, measuring it, what we have to do is see where our sinker is going to sit and where our hook is going to sit. So, our hook's going to sit there. So, all I'm going to do is literally cut it at a slight angle because you want to get a bit of that smell out. So, there it is there. I'm just going to trim the tail a bit, a little bit down. There it is there. Okay. So now we take our dangle puller, start at the back and go all the way through and come out by the mouth. That's the theory behind it. Let's see if I can get it to go right. Because this mackerel is still a bit frozen and that's the way we like it to be. And easy coming out by the mouth. And there we go. Well done. Whew. Okay. Now remember with this, you've got a bit of um, heat shrink over it. So we just got to make a little slit in it so that our dangle puller can go through. Okay, so there we go. Stick our dangle puller through the heat shrink there. And now all we're going to do is just pull it all the way through till it comes out the end. Okay, so there we go. So there is our heat shrink through that side. We're then going to take our circle hook through that same hole that I've just made. We're then going to take our knife and we're just going to give it a couple of little grooves in it. Just so that the cotton bites on it properly. There we go. Okay, so there's pretty much our mackerel. Now what's very nice with this is we can add a bit of flotation to it. So you cut a thin strip of foam and you can put it on top if you want to float it up. If you want it to lie on the bottom for your skates, you just leave it as is. Okay, so let's get our thick latex cotton out. Get our latex cotton. And what we're doing is we're binding up over here around the head but also around that part of our dangle. If you're going to use flotation, you're going to try and keep it as natural as possible. So all you're going to do is just the front part and the back part. So we just go to the back. And the back one, we go around there, pull it off. And there's pretty much our dangle ready for throwing. Our sinker is then going to clip on. Our sinker then clips on there. It's a very long aerodynamic bait. And like I say, if you put foam over there, it's going to float it up. If you're going to leave it without any foam, it's going to sit on the bottom just like that. Quick and easy, guys. That's the dangle. Done. We're going to be doing the small dangle. And again, available at all leading tackle stores. Made by the Kingfisher. It's our salt saltwater sports trace one. That's it there. It's got a uh, heat shrink on the, the bottom side of over here that your hook goes through. Quick and easy. I'm just going to show you how you do that. The hook will go through there like that. I'm going to use a sardine for demonstration purposes. If you want to just put a head on, quick and easy bait. Um, measure the size that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a sardine. It can be a red eye. It can be a mackerel. It doesn't make a difference. Just measure the size. So it needs to be cut about there. So let's do that. I'm just going to form it to give it a bit of shape. Just for aerodynamic purposes, we cut it at an angle so when it throws it doesn't cause a lot of wind resistance. Okay, our dangle puller straight through the back and normally we go down the backbone there. As you can see, take it out by the mouth, hook that onto where the sinker would go, all the way through. We then turn it around and the hook part, we go through the top jaw. 
of our side in like that. Okay. Now all we're going to do is take our thin latex cotton, our Kingfisher thin latex that I'm using here, and we're just going to tie it up. Whether it be a red eye or mackerel, it works exactly the same. Now all I'm going to do is take two little cutlets on either side, just to add a little bit more flavour smell. There we go. So we do that on the side. <clears throat> Bind it up nicely with the thin latex cotton and we can use as much as we want because it doesn't do anything except squeeze the bait out. Do the next side over here. Grab our latex cotton. Like I said, it works well with red eyes, mackerel. There we go, you can use mullet if you want. That's pretty much the bait ready to go. You will then clip your sinker onto the bottom and there's the bait ready for throwing. So that's using our small dangle for throwing smaller baits. There we go. It's as simple as that guys. Quick and easy dangles, already made for you by the Kingfisher. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to rig the quick and easy Dacron. Um, dangle that I'm doing here. Okay, so all we're going to do again is take our hook, we then put it around, take the Dacron and put it around, open it up like so, take our solid ring and pull it through. Okay, so there's our quick and easy Dacron uh, um, dangle that we've made out of our old leader line and that. There it is there. To bait it, I'm just going to take one of our old mackerels that I've just used. Uh, just do a simple bait for you. Open it up, like so. Cut down that side there quickly. Just gonna take the backbone out. Uh, take some cotton, a thin latex cotton, or a thick one, doesn't really matter for this bait. Squeeze it together, it's still semi-frozen the way I like it. Open the... Now, when doing this particular bait, I'm not putting any cotton on this side of it at all. We're working our way down to the actual nose piece. Over there, break it off. Take our dangle puller, go from the back, all the way to the front where the mouth is. Take our solid ring, stick it inside. Pull it all the way down and out. Take our hook at the bottom part over here and through and come out the lip. There we go. Okay, so there it is there, all ready to go. You can put more cotton on, and I'm just gonna do that to show you. Now we put a lot of cotton just to lock it in place, especially around the nose. And then also just behind the actual hook. Just so that if you do have one of those sand sharks, um, honeycombs, thorn tails, anything along those lines, that they don't pull the bait off. We just put a lot more cotton around it to stop it from being pulled off that way. Okay, sinker goes on over here, and you're good to go. That's the quick and easy um, way of doing it. It's as simple as that. It's so simple, guys, you can't beat it. You can do it on the beach, you can make it on the beach there. You can make it to the size of bait that you want. And it works extremely well for catching all your skates and sharks. There we go, guys. Okay guys, we're going to do the hard dangle. This is made out of number 14 wire. You can do 19, you can do whatever you want. It works well with mullet heads, any head basically that might get pulled off. Shad heads. I'm using one of our little mackerel that we get down here, our Indian mackerel. Um, I'll just show you how it works. It's so simple. Again, 
with this one, just take your knife. You can either just cut it off, stick it on. Yeah, let's just do that. Measure the size that we want it to be. That's how long we want it to be. So all I'm going to do is just cut it straight down like that. Cut it at a little bit of an angle like that. Just give it a bit more shape. Aerodynamics. This is a very good bait for when you're fishing for fish. When there's a lot of peckers around and you need a hard bait. Okay, so that's the easiest way to explain it. When you want a hard bait, this is how we do it. Cut a little groove in the actual thing there like that. We're going to take a dangle puller through the center. And we'll just work it all the way down so it comes out there by the mouth again. There we go. That then gets inserted into the back part like that. Slide it through the mouth. And wherever you want it to actually be, so it doesn't come off. So all I'm going to do is that's the top part of the actual head. Insert that into the nose part. And then the hook part will go in at the back here. And I've just got to find it quickly for a second. There we go. So that will go through there. Like that. Now we're going to slide it down. Where is the head? There's the head. I'm just going to give it a little pull so we pull it out. And that hook goes into the nose. If you can see there, the hook part goes into the nose. And you just give it a little bit of a tug and it sits perfectly inside there. So there it is, ready to go, no cotton needed. It won't come off. That will then go on there. Like I say, it's nice for a hard bait, mackerel head, shad. Ideal for your big flatfish, your sand sharks, your honeycombs, sandies, duckbills, eagle rays, raggies, uh, bronzies, obviously with wire. And that's it. It's such an easy bait. The peckers will come around and eat on the back part, but they're not going to obviously get through on the hard part of the actual bait. And when the big sharks come around or skates come around, they just inhale it and you're good to go. Nice aerodynamic, it will fly a little bit like that, but it's just one of those baits. Okay, here we go. My Velcro dangle that I use for catching lessers. I'm just going to show you two ways of baiting up this particular one. Okay, here's a small one for the lessers. And it's as simple as doing cutlet, cutlet, cutlet. Okay, so all I've done is taken two little cutlets, stick it down like that, thin latex cotton, our thin kingfisher latex cotton. Because we want it to float up, we don't want to put a big bait on it. There we go. Next bit. You can take your chocker hammer if you want, just to soften it up a bit. And there we go. Ready to throw. Let's just grab a hook. I'll just show you how we do it. Now what we do with this, and I'm going to put my glasses on, is we go through the Dacron. Over there, if you guys can see, through the middle of it, you pull it onto the actual hook, twist it around, pull it onto the hook. And if you still want it to be closer, because it's too far away, just do the exact same thing closer to the bait onto the hook. Cut off the little bit of uh, tagging that you have. And there we go. There's a quick, simple bait that you can make that when it lies on the ground will actually sit and pop up like that in the water. A little float will just pop it up like that. Gives off a lot of smell because there's a lot of exposure on each side. Obviously, this is not one for clipping. Again, it's for lessers, for skates, stuff where you're not throwing too far. So quick, so easy, and of course, it's not going to come off in a hurry. The Velcro is going to hold the actual bait on, so if you pull hard on it, you'll see nothing comes off. And the Velcro, I'm just going to take it off, starts to absorb all the flesh as well into it. So that actually still creates a lot more smell in the water. That's why that Velcro works so well. So pull off the other piece. Over there. 
and you can see it's still got a lot of smell on it. Even though all the bait has come off, it's still got a lot of smell to it. So there's our chocker there. I'm going to use the same hook, same cotton, which is our thin kingfish cotton. I'm just going to cut it at a bigger angle. Okay, so on one side, I'm going to have sardine. There we go, there's my sardine, cut. I'm then going to take my chocker and I'm going to cut it straight down. It's just easy if I do that. Okay. Measure the size of the chocker that I will want, which will be that size there. Take our chocker hammer and just lightly beat it. Lightly beating it, all it's going to do is allow the cotton to sit on it better and dig into it. So I'm going to start from the bottom over here and work my way up. It's a nice bait for nighttime fishing. When you use that glow bead there, so that glow bead will shine through. When I get to that side of it, I cut it down to the size that I actually want it to be, guys. Just so much easier. There we go. You don't have to throw that away. You can just stick it in if you want. Just adds to the flavor, the smell. We then take our sardine and just lightly tap it because it is semi-frozen. And it's just going to expose a lot more of the smell. And again, the cotton's just going to hang on to it a lot better. So there we've got a chocker combo with Velcro. So you've got your sardine on one side, you've got your Velcro in the centre, you've got your chocker on the other side, and you've got this lovely lighthouse here lying on the ground that just glows a little bit, creates a bit more attraction. So any fish swimming along will see the glow, come and investigate. Any flat fish that's around will come and investigate. It'll sit on the ground, and let me just show you how we do it again. We're going to take our uh, circle lock, insert it through the centre of the Dacron, like that. We then turn it around and do it again. And as you do it, you just get closer and closer to the bait. Do it a third time. It will never come off for the third time, I promise you that. And there we go. Got him. Slide it all the way down. Cut off that excess that we don't need. And there we go, we've got a lovely soft bait that will turn in the fish's mouth every time. Quick and easy. Maybe just cut that off there. Just makes it look prettier for you guys. And there we go, there's a combo. You can do so much with it. You can use red eye, you can use mackerel. There's so many different variations you can do with just that bait alone. And that uh, Velcro. Lovely for fishing at Mission Rocks, where you're fishing in the rocks there for the lanterns, eel tail barbel. There we go. Quick and easy Velcro bait.